Is anyone on? Hello? Guys, it's called Connect so we can talk. Don't abandon me in my time of need. Lana? Jackson? Anyone? Bevan? Sometimes people put their phone down in the cafeteria, Simone. I'm appled up and on my way. Good. I told student council this would be perfect. The last drone hook is done, and Project Candy Graham needs everyone on the ground ASAP. I thought we were flying drones, so technically in the air. Lana, that's terrible. Okay, everyone, make your space now. <laughs> Jackson, your plane filter means you are here, but I need you here, here, now. Ah, <sighs> seriously? How'd you do that? I ate my phone at the ground when I walked in so you wouldn't see me. Yeah, but why? Would you have laughed at the airplane filter otherwise? The laugh matters, that's why. Whoa. So how many drones at once? I'll explain when Bevan gets here. Oh, perfect. Hey, Bevan. Uh, what are you doing, Bev? Trying to figure out how to code a gymnastic sequence in my new game. I want to rotate the screen, but with less nausea than this. <sighs> okay. Project Candygram has to be amazing. That's why I need you guys, six drones, one to each wing of the school. I program them all in this flight path app. Lena, can you check them? Uh, yeah, throw it up on connect. Okay. Yes, I see what you're doing here. These, filled with the best candy online, for like, no budget, for every lucky row at high student whose friends want to send them a hey -o. What's this? Oh, that? is just my best invention yet. When the camera moves down, the candy bag drops. Oh my gosh, nice job, Es. Right? Drones plus hooks plus programmed flight paths equals boom. Row it high, covered in candy. Some people on student council thought it wasn't possible, but this guy online programmed his drone to fly like a fruit Simone, fly. Simone, stop. Don't do anything. Wait, why? I love your candy hook, but you need to attach it the other way. The hook won't drop at the angle you have it. I don't know. But we need to fly these right at noon. I promised the principal they wouldn't interrupt. Jackson! Jackson, go watch the lockers. A and don't let anybody touch the drones. Go watch a bag of flying candy go by and do nothing about it. Right. Jackson reporting live here from the lockers. I love a mute button. All right, and all fixed. Okay. You guys are great. I couldn't do this without you. I accept my payment in candy and lots. T minus, the belt is about to ring. In three, two, one. Drones up. Whoa, candy is flying. It's like a dream, but real life. But we're at school and I'm not flying. Don't distract us. Fly like a fruit fly, drop your candy joy. Uh, uh-oh, guys, doorway, Simone, someone's opening up. No! Ugh! No, my candy grams! Simone, I got a riddle for you, and I'm gonna time how long it takes you to get it. It's a puzzle from my escape room game. Okay, shoot. So, Paul is six feet tall, works at a cheese store, and wears size nine shoes. What does he weigh? Uh, does his weight affect his ability to escape the room? Not at all. Do we know what size pants he wears? We do not. Simone, do you know where the noise canceling headphones are? Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. What is that? The Mayfair Music Festival moved its submission deadline up by a month! But you say you're gonna submit a song every year. Yeah, well, this year was supposed to be different. But the deadline is tomorrow, and I'm stuck, and I'm freaking out. Okay, I can see that. On a scale of one to ten, where are you at now? I will show you exactly where I'm at. Oh. Paul weighs 175 pounds, hot or cold. Freezing. Uh, what is that? This is my electrodermal transmitter. My anxiety tracker. It helps me manage my anxiety. This is my grade eight science fair project. I was measuring stress levels in plants when they hear the sound of chewing, and I accidentally discovered that I react the same way as the plants. As in, you don't like the sound of chewing? Who likes the sound of chewing? I can measure my stress levels through my skin. Is it helping? 
it helps me track my anxiety. It doesn't get rid of it. Simone, you remember the time that I had to do a presentation on the space program in front of the entire school? That was a 90. Now, I'm an 80. Okay, uh, why is there a zero on here? That's never going to happen. <laughs> well, thank you for your support. Look, if I had a mistakeometer, it would never, ever have a zero on it. Besides, I've seen you do amazing when under extreme anxiety. So, what'd you get on that presentation? 92. See? You got through that, and you can get through this. Paul weighs 600 pounds from all the cheese? No. What helped you get through that time? I talked to you. Hey, look, I'm a 60. 60? Sounds like the right number to start writing your song at. Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. And I'm unstuck! So, did I solve the riddle in record time? No, you did not. What does Paul weigh? Cheese. Paul weighs cheese. Oh, oh well. I'm sure he ate a lot too. I'm thinking I'll get my mom to take me out for pizza tomorrow night. Sure, if you have nothing better to do. That was weird. You left so fast after school. I know, sorry, I just had to finish Bevan's gift for her party tonight. What gift? I wrote three new music samples to use in her game. Listen to this. Bought a cute new drive to put it on too. No, no, I mean, what party? Her birthday party. She's turning 15, remember? Bevan's having a party? Well, my phone's working, so not like I missed a text. Have fun. I'm sure she just forgot to tell you, Simone. Well, she didn't forget to tell you. I'll see you later, okay? Oh! Where's everyone? Lana's on her way. And Jackson? I guess you'll see him after school. Guess you won't. It seems like I can't. You could if you came to my party, but you're too busy working on your arm circular. Servo motor. Wait, what? You're obviously too cool to come to your friend's birthday is all. Bevan, you didn't invite me. Oh no? Remember this? Broken Link, I thought you were sending us part of your game. It's not just a game, it's an immersive VR experience. Sometimes you send stuff and then you take it down. I thought I missed that, not a party invite. It was a link to the game. The party info was on the whiteboard. Your game is a whiteboard? Obviously. Look, here it is on the staging site. A bowling party? I love bowling! Oh, great, nobody else does. What, nobody could come? They didn't reply. Brad, Devin, Sarah, the two Caitlins. You! Oh no. Nobody got this! You, you weren't just ignoring me! No, and you weren't just leaving me out! No! But then, how'd Lana know about this? We talked about in English with Jackson. And that's when I built the party invite, but I guess nobody got it. Uh, what's this repeat? Extra commands? That? That is a rookie mistake. Nobody's coming to my party because I missed a bug in my code. Who does that? Everyone, probably. You know how if you cry on your birthday, you'll cry all year? What if I code wrong for the next 365? Oh, Simone! No way. And first of all, impromptu ice cream bash after school. Aw, hashtag BFF Bevan bash. What a sweet post. Like this one. Who would post something like that? Jackson? What? Are you mad? What did I do? It's my potty and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> How could you do this? I just signal boosted the Bevan Bash. You're welcome. Because at last check, it looks like everyone's coming. Everyone? Thanks, Jackson. Well, that's why I'm here. I need your help. You guys know Mandy? Polka dot Mandy. <gasps> yeah, she's coming. She talked to me in math class. But last period, she couldn't get far enough away from me. And I think it's because I had bad breath. What did you have for lunch? Tzatziki, onion rings. 
wonder if they can just answer my own question. Maybe. We could test your sensitivity to garlic and onions if you want. Bevan, feel like making a run to the cafeteria? One less girl grossed out by Jackson is a good thing. What are you thinking? So, chewing garlic or onions creates a sulfur-containing molecule. If we test your breath for it, we'll find out how super sensitive you are. Me sensitive? Food sensitive. Sorry. Uh, grab a microprocessor and LED lights from the bins. Oh, and a gas sensor. Brilliant. I think, and I hope. What are you guys still doing at school? Helping Jackson with his love life. Wow, you really like a challenge. Hey, I heard that. Oh, you're in for a treat? I think you're enjoying this a little too much. No amount is too much. Blow, we need a baseline. <sighs> Perfect, all green. Alrighty, roasted onion hummus, go. Not bad. Okay, parsley palate cleanser. Raw onions. Tzatziki. Jackpot! Four bars. Oh, raw garlic. Why bother? Do it. Four bars again, and we have our answer. So for me, tzatziki is like eating a clove of raw garlic. No wonder why Manny was avoiding me. I mean, you could carry this with you and test your breath in case you want to talk to her. Or you could just not eat tzatziki around girls. Your choice. Okay, everyone, I think it's time to go to Bevan's party. Yeah, you'll find me parked beside the bowl of plain chips. Mm, the things we do for love. Uh-oh. I, I lost it? This is not happening. Not happening. You can't have lost another one. Did you search your room? Did I search my room? I left the party early, spontaneously got home right when my mom did, told her I was organizing our shoe closet while frantically looking for it. Yes, I searched my room. <sighs> Changed my mind. Lasagna's the best leftovers. And pad thai. And... What's wrong? Who flunked what? Simone lost her key again. What? How many times is that now? Five this semester. My parents were livid last time. Now my life's over. Finished. Agreed. You're toast. Unless... Jackson? You're brilliant. I know, but you can keep saying it. Why do I have a 3D printer if not to break into my own house? I'll scan my mom's key, sneak it back downstairs, and then, oh, this says I need to print a decoder first. Boring. Call me one of Simona's super spy time again, okay? No, stay. It can be our first all-night hangout. Super fun, right? I'm gonna go floss just in case sleep winds up being more fun than our all-night hangout. Done. These numbers correspond with printer software templates. See? There's key formats? Someone loses as many keys as you do. Now what? Truth or dare? Gossip? Sleep. Night, you guys. Looks like it's you and me, Bev, on the night shift, getting stuff done. Do you always stay up this late? Yeah. Midnight snack? Cereal. Great idea. Cereal? Yuck. These are beets. You can't even tell the difference. Nice, did you test it? Going down to do that right now. You know, I thought I'd feel more sleepy, but... Oh no. Why? What am I gonna do? Shh, Simone, I'm sleeping. Simone, I'm 
leaving. Lock the door. For sure, Mom. Right? For sure? Well, this printer is better than yours, so the key should be stronger. So how much longer? Any chance I can make it to bio and lock my house? Three minutes plus nine to run to your bedroom window. What if you sprint? Seven? Forget it. I meant thanks, BFF. Oh, good, you're here. Okay. Oh, thanks, Lana. You're the greatest. How can I? Did your mom leave? Oh, she left five minutes ago. Why did I just climb through your bedroom window? Let's go. Oh, what if it doesn't work? Should we just climb through my bedroom window? Simone, use the key. Bevan, you were supposed to meet us outside the dance. dance? I know, but I'm stuck on something in my game and I have to fix it or it will ruin the dance for me. And I dress to have fun. Do you think the no cell phone rule is because we have 50s theme going on at the dance? Uh, the committee voted to ban them because no one danced anymore. People kept taking pictures and posting them. And by people, you do mean Jackson, right? Hello, SOS here. Okay. What are we doing? I'm on the makerspace puzzle for my game and you have to make your way out of a chair to the stool only using audio clues. Ooh, what kind of audio clues? Well, a beep means left, a bell means right, a honk means forward, and a moo means stand up. Can one of you guys be the rubber duck and please sit in the chair behind me? <laughs> Loser, rubber duck, sit. Why aren't you guys here? We're rubber ducking my game. You're what? Walking through the code step by step like you're explaining it to something that doesn't think. Like a rubber duck. I could do that. You can't talk back. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Principal on a phone line. Gotta go. Okay. What do you want me to do? Uh, sit on the stool. We have to get Lana from the chair to you. Okay, Lana, ready? <laughs> My shin says you're missing something there. Sorry, yeah, uh, right turn. Let's start from the beginning. <laughs> now this one. Uh, beat more to avoid further bruising. Oh, yeah, you guys go. I'll meet you in a bit. No, you're coming with us. Your brain needs a break. And my shin needs some ice. Guys, hurry up. Rebelli is watching me. Um, who are you? Hello? the group recorder, our team's process was the most interesting and time-consuming part of our project. I don't want to jump the gun, but we're getting an A-plus at least. A creative representation of DNA. I think so. I think this might be a little too creative. No such thing. Well, unless you're late handing it in. It's not due to the end of class. We have all of lunch and fifth period biology. You know, we don't always have to wait till the last second, right? This is why people hate group work. Hey, where's the part in the DNA where it shows Lana has no chill? Right there, beside Jackson, that's actually how his laugh sounds. So mm. everyone's DNA double helixes, helixes, helix size? I don't know. Anyway, they all look the same from far away, so we won't know it's your DNA until one of We print some 3D nucleo bases to put on top of it. You guys? This looks so good. I should put a picture of the nucleal bases in the report. Everyone cool with this one? It has an A on it, is that right? A, C, G, and T are the DNA bases, and then they're paired up for every personal characteristic. Including has no chill, right? One team member hoped to find the DNA sequence for, what's the technical term for chill? Homework relaxation ability? Bevan, not fair. 
take it out. Sorry, not much for the group recorder to record while we wait for Simone's masterpiece to print. Word. You guys, it's not just my big idea. I thought you all liked it. Okay, it's not just a mural. It's science and art. It's beautiful and unusual and three-dimensional. Go slower. Beautiful and unusual and three-dimensional. It is a cool idea. I really can't wait to see when it's all printed out. <gasps> Ooh, we're done. Okay. Little nucleo base buddy, you live right here. Ta-da! Looks kind of small, huh? I know, but so cool when the rest are printed out with it. How many more do we need, though? 35. That one took what, like 10 minutes? Closer to 11. Yeah, and it's due at the end of 5th, which is in 94 minutes. Wait, are you serious? 94 minutes? You guys, we won't be able to print the rest in time. And you just figured this out now? Okay, I don't know. I lost track of time. What are we going to do? Apparently not this. So, who's got an idea? We try to 3D print nucleo bases for a creative representation of DNA, but um, logistical issue sent us toward plan B. The fact is, it's a great idea. I can't believe all this. How many weeks allowance did you spend? Maybe you guys, you know, don't worry about looking flaky, but can I remind you that this is a third of our grade? Wait, looking flaky. Lana, are you not the academic you pretend to be? Have you not seen hashtag candy science? We have 81 or... minutes, Jackson. Okay, candy is all over science sites online. It's easy to understand, visually appealing, and watch. Candy, nature's modeling tool. Natural high fructose corn syrup. Hey, right. don't doubt me just because I'm Jackson, okay, you guys? It's a good idea, and we can build it quickly, right? Smart and fast. Okay, let's do it. We decided to take a practical and unconventional approach, especially given limited time. Don't say limited time. It sounds like we made a mistake, and I know we did, I did, but don't say it. Okay, then we just won't have a process section in our report. So cherry is for C, obviously. Grape is for G, and apple for A. If you want to be obvious about it. Well, okay. For tea, we'll use watermelon. Is your mind blown? So which of my nucleobase combos show my love of sour candy? Um, not like your eye color or your blood type or your height? Uh, I know DNA can tell us everything like our eye color, yeah, but which one of my ancestors loves sour stuff? And who gave me the snoring gene? We should build an app for this. Okay, okay, not right now, but like for future fun DNA stuff. My aunt and uncle, they got theirs made into abstract art. We could make DNA art for lockers or- Okay, could... one thing at a time. And stop eating all the C neurobases. Guys, time's ticking. Should we? Okay. And now for the twist. Oh, what did you do? Oh, it had to be a helix. We could have just fixed it in Photoshop. <laughs> we were never oh. using Photoshop. You guys, we have no time. And this is why people hate group work. That was my point. It was my great idea you wrecked. Can I just say again, we have no time and no project. I can't just write we screwed up again. Well, we can go back to the mural. We can make that work, right? Don't know if we can. I threw it out. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't want to see it, mocking me and my dumb idea. So sue me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm kind of worried. <sighs> okay, okay, we can come up with something. 14 minutes? Uh, how about we draw a live pick of Jackson's DNA on the board? How is that a group project then? Or a project at all? Okay, uh... Human Twister Game shows how data can be stored in DNA. Jackson, what are you doing? Dear Miss Evanston, Due to reasons, my group imploded. Can I please do a makeup project? P.S. This is why people hate group work. Traitor, who even are you? I'm a realist. We're cooked. This is all my fault. What? No, it's not. Technically. I talked you all into my idea, and I didn't think the timing through. We can all tell time, Simone. We all suck. Lana's really mad. 
Um, it's understandable. It's her first time getting a bad grade. She probably got super anxiety right now. Yeah. I've never missed a deadline either. Me either. Hey! I do hand in my work, you guys. Okay, good. You guys are still there. Don't go to class yet. I'm hurrying. Don't worry. There's still seven minutes till our doom, so... Okay, so... Listen to this. Did you really just write a song instead of freaking out? Well, first I freaked out a little bit. What was your anxiety reading? It started at 109, but then it came down because I came up with this great idea. Look at that. This song, this is our DNA project. I don't get it. Is it just me or? So, nucleobases have A, C, G, and T. Coincidence, musical scales also have A, C, and G, but not T. So people who write DNA music have to improvise a little wait, bit. Wait, wait, wait. People who write DNA music, you don't mean like, this DJ's giving me life, do you? No, it's a thing. DNA sequence is set to music. They use the note E to represent T, so it's C, T, A, A, G, C. I googled it. Apparently scientists use DNA music to hear patterns that aren't that obvious to the eye. It's cool, right? But how did you come up with this so fast? I used Jackson's DNA code, which we already had, mixed in a few pianos and simple G chords. Okay, uh, we can still get this in. You have it on drive? I'm just going to write Lana straight up save the day. Seriously, I can't believe you just composed our entire assignment. Thanks for saving our group. You would have done the same thing? Me? I almost ruined everything. So, making stuff that doesn't work is how you make the stuff that does work. That's literally science. Plus, you know, my chill is a work in progress. Do not tell Jackson. Sen! We did it! See? Group work for the win! Wait, what? No, 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 I don't accept. What, she didn't take it? We still have two minutes until class. Dear class, after several requests, I've decided to grant an extension on the DNA project. See you tomorrow, Miss Evanston. You got yourself a handsaw. Yes, guys. I made this app, and if I take a picture of something, it tells me what it is. You got yourself a apple. And you made this to do what? Once it can identify foods, I hope it can figure out what I want to eat. Take away the guesswork. So why not just program it to say pizza and french fries? <laughs> french fries. You're making me hungry. Give me your phones. I'll download the app. My phone's dead. Lana, it'll only take two minutes. <sighs> okay, fine. <laughs> What are you working on? Built a new room in my game last night. Just looking at it fresh. How many rooms do you have now? A uh, classroom, makerspace, and now the gym. And puzzles for the first two. Oh. Done. Hit the X or check mark after you take the photo. The more times it gets it right, the smarter it gets. Okay. You got yourself a personal laptop computer. <laughs> Actually, this is pretty cool. You got yourself a water bottle. I'm impressed, Jackson. Thank you. How many pictures do you want me to take? I don't know, a hundred? A hundred? Well, I'll have to do it later. I'm studying for math. Tomorrow's math test. I gotta go. So, just curious, would you be able to send me that picture of us eating banana splits last week? Uh, yeah, but then I need to focus. Please enter your password. What? That is not the correct password. What? Yes, it is. Jackson messed up my phone. I can't even get into it. Yep, he bricked it, which is why I never let Jackson touch my oh. stuff. Hey, what's up, Bev? Lana needs help with her phone. Uh, tell her to take it out of voiceover mode. I would if I could get into it. That is not the correct password. <sighs> you got yourself a really mad Lana on your hands. Like, Mad mad. Uh, this is a bad connection. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a second. Jackson? Yeah? Did you put a rock climbing wall in my gym? I'm nowhere near the gym. Unless you think that's a good place to hide from Lana. Jackson! Speaking of... Has someone been in my game? <laughs>